Got a minute? Oh! What? Whoa. Gwen, how did, how did she... How, how did you get... How have you... With the New Year's just around the corner, it's high time to look into the upcoming superhero releases of 2023. After traveling through multiple universes of MCU, DCEU, and others, we've gathered up a complete list of forthcoming superhero films and TV shows. Whether it's the chaotic streets of Gotham City, or the depths of the Quantum Realm, next year is definitely the year of epic action and superhero battles. Without further delay, let's get into the video. The list just might surprise you. Before we go into our expert explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means an awful lot. Thank you. Let's begin. And I'm just me. Shazam! Fury of the Gods. In April 2019, David F. Sandberg's Shazam received a wide amount of praise from critics, making it a huge box office success. The origin story revolves around a wizard who has gifted a young boy with the superpowers of the ancient gods. In July 2022, Warner Bros. Pictures and DC Comics revealed the first trailer for Shazam! Fury of the Gods with a release date of March 17th, 2023. It cast Asher Angel as young Billy Batson and Zachary Levi as his all alter ego Shazam. The official trailer gave us glimpses of destructive villains played by Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu as Hasbera and Calypso, evil daughters of Atlas. The Foster family kids have also gained superpowers in the last movie and are now teaming up with Shazam to take us through the action-packed adventure and ultimate superhero battle. With the newly released Black Adam coming out in 2022, comic book fans are happy with the groundwork of rivalry set between Black Adam and Shazam. Despite not having as big of a fan base as other DC superheroes like Batman or Superman, the lighthearted, humorous touch in the trailer for Shazam! Fury of the Gods really won the hearts of fans around the world. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Paramount Pictures has announced the release of the animated superhero movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. It'll be in theaters on the 4th of August, 2023. Originally created by legendary cartoonists Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, the characters were first published in TMNT Comics in 1984. Seth Rogen's CG animated movie, Mutant Mayhem, is likely to be one of the auspicious announcements in the fun action superhero genre. As of now, no light has been shown shed on the characters apart from the mutant turtles. Rogan has confirmed that four teenagers will be hired for the four turtle characters. We are still unsure who will be voicing which characters, but the teenage elements will surely add better aspects. In the past, the franchise has showcased the voice acting talents of Johnny Knoxville, Sean Astin, Rob Paulson, and many others as voice actors for the classic roles. Apart from the four main characters, fans are also hoping to see some action and fatherhood in Splinter the Rat. Most important, Importantly, it wouldn't be a TMNT movie without the nemesis Shredder and the Foot Clan. Though fans are expecting a new antagonist, Shredder will hopefully still make an appearance. Batman the Doom That Came to Gotham. As the news of a release for The Doom That Came to Gotham has gotten out, the Bat fans simply cannot keep their call. Warner Bros. Home Entertainment has announced the release of this animated DC movie. This is going to be inspired by the three-issue comic series that was published in the 2000s under the Elseworld branding. The plot is predicted to revolve around Gotham's crime-filled streets in 1928 with unnatural and evil villains. In the comics, some of the Lovecraft-adapted enemies are Two-Face, Green Arrow, and Raj al Ghul. Other bad allies include Robin and Nightwing, the demon Etrigan, and also the classic Penguin. With a dark and mysterious theme, this will be a Victorian-inspired horror Batman movie. According to many fans, this might be a sequel to Batman Under the Red Hood. The doom that comes to Gotham holds the potential to display the best visuals, crime standoffs, and classic Bat battles. With power and a daunting personality, how far would Bruce Wayne go to stop the horror from spreading across Gotham and beyond. Though no particular release date has been declared, we can expect to see it by mid-2023. I missed you too. Okay. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse After the Oscar-winning Into the Spider-Verse released in 2018, the sequel trailer has gotten us all excited. Directed by Joaquin Dos Santor, Justin Kay, and Kemp Powers, 
Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is an action-packed adventure through a multiverse with Ghost Spider. In association with Marvel, the animated superhero movie is produced by Sony Pictures and Columbia Pictures. It puts Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy's relationship in the spotlight and features their series of thrilling experiences while traveling through six different universes. The keen attention to detail and animation work is simply splendid in the official trailer. Each universe has different frame rates and styles to be presented. The main character Characters will be voiced by Shamik Moore and Haley Steinfeld as Miles Morales and Ghost Spider, respectively. Also, the movie stars Oscar Isaac, Jake Johnson, Issa Rae, Brian Henry, and more. The opening scene of the trailer starts off with Miles listening to the song Sunflower from the original Spider-Verse movie. This created nostalgia among fans. Morales is shown to be fighting Spider-Man 2099 through different universes as it changes colors, style, and graphic structure. The art style shifts from scene to scene that showcases the distinct characteristics of every universe. The lead animator Nick Kondo has announced that each universe was designed by different artists to bring out different visual palettes and patterns. The ink splattering specific style throughout the film would be giving away a comic book design that is highly appreciated by the fans. Across the Spider-Verse was officially announced on December 5th, 2021 and is set to be released on June 2nd, 2023. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom Aquaman 2018 has been one of the top grossing films in DC's extended universe. Returning director and co-producer James Wan and scriptwriter David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick are hoping for a similar hit with the sequel. The protector of the underwater kingdom of Atlantis, Aquaman's actions and ventures have been revolving around his new position. What the title Lost Kingdom refers to is still a mystery. Arthur Curry's new suit and armor are definitely creating hype among the fans. Returning cast, Jason Momoa is again taking the lead as Arthur Curry, and Amber Heard will be playing Mira. Ocean Master will be played by actor Patrick Wilson, and Black Manta will be played by Yaha Abdul Mateen II. King Nereus is played by Dolph Lundgren, along with other notable mentions. Dr. Shin and Thomas Curry are played by Randall Park and Tamura Morrison, respectively. In mid-2022, Momoa also confirmed the appearance of Ben Affleck as Batman. The returning Bat's arrival in this film has gotten the audiences all excited. Earlier, the release date for the sequel was set for the 21st of December 2022, but it has been pushed back to the 17th of March 2023. However, recent sources reveal that it has been delayed one more time to December 2023. Though nothing much about the plot has been revealed by Warner Bros. as of yet, Aquaman's arch enemy Black Manta's appearance is intriguing. We have peeked at glimpses for The Lost Kingdom with some glimpses of Arthur's Atlantean house that has a rocky and desert-like environment. Curry was also seen to be riding a sea dragon that indicated towards Zebel, which is one of the seven realms of Atlantis. The details, such as a volcanic island, dry jungle, and eerie mechanical zone have given a potential indication of destruction. It is safe to say that an ultimate face-off between Black Manta and Aquaman can be expected throughout the film. Raven the Hunter a co-production between Sony and Marvel, Craven the Hunter is coming to theaters in 2023. Craven is known to be one of the classic villains of Spider-Man and soon getting a film of his own. Craven's appearance was recently glimpsed in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but this is the first solo appearance of this supervillain hunter. Though the plot has not yet been revealed, this comic book adaptation has the potential to lead to big success. Just like Venom, we can expect this anti-hero's origin story arc and his journey to become a villain. Screenwriter Richard Wank has hinted at the adaptation from the comic book storyline Craven's Last Hunt. Unlike other Spider-Man villains, Craven's character only revolved around battles against Spider-Man. Sony had previously reached out to Adam Driver, Brad Pitt, Keanu Reeves, and John David Washington for the role. As of now, Aaron Taylor Johnson is the confirmed cast to be taking on the role of Craven the Hunter. Reportedly, Ariana DeBose will be playing the character of Calypso. Other actors in the film, such as Russell Crowe, Alessandro Nivola and Fred Hetchinger's characters are still under wraps. Fans are curious to know how the character of Craven will do outside of his familiar setting without Peter Parker. That said, many fans are eager to see a Tom Holland cameo or a short scene featuring another Peter Parker after Sony's collaboration with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Batman, heads up. Justice League War World 
Justice League War World was announced by Warner Bros. Home Entertainment at the San Diego Comic Con in 2022. Among other DC movies, it is the 12th animated movie that has also stood out to the fans. Justice League War World will be the first intro movie in the upcoming animated series of DC releases. It is now a part of Tomorrowverse. Tomorrowverse has earlier covered Martian Manhunter, Wonder Woman, Superman, The Flash, and Batman in their first three releases. However, it skipped the Foundation story line of the Justice League. As the title already indicates, DC supervillain Mongol is likely to be the rival and antagonist in the film. In the Tomorrowverse, Darren Criss and Travis Willingham have previously played the character of Clark Kent, and Jensen Ackles and Troy Baker have been cast for Bruce Wayne. It's likely that Matt Bomer, Aldous Hodge, and Troy Baker will be voicing Flash, Green Lantern, and Green Arrow respectively. We are still awaiting an official statement and teaser from the production on casting details, though there's not a specific release date for the movie just yet, we can expect it to be popping up by mid-2023. Fans have surely dug up a potential plot point from the comic books. The film could be based on the story of a gigantic satellite named Warworld and the Justice League's clash with Mogul over its ultimate control. It is a possibility that the storyline would be based on the script, but since there's no official evidence of that, we'll just have to buckle up and wait for Warner Bros. to release their first teaser trailer. X-Men 97 the 90s animated X-Men series lasted from 1992 to 1997 on Fox Kids Network, creating absolute nostalgia among millennials. After almost 30 years, Marvel has confirmed the official release of the animated series once again. The X-Men have been pretty much the introductory route of superhero action for many fans. In 2023, new episodes are coming and will be available to stream on Disney+. Magneto's new appearance of a purple suit and long hair is making a thrilling comeback. Back. With the leadership of Magneto, the classic mutants such as Wolverine, Gambit, Rogue, Beast, Cyclops, and Jean Grey will be all set for combat once again. We are expecting to see the Hellfire Club as the main antagonists in this movie. Their roster would include Sebastian Shaw, the supervillain with the ability to transform energy into their own strength, alongside Emma Frost and Mr. Sinister. Recently, the journey of mutants has been quite absent in Marvel, but Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness took us through the multiverse where Professor X was once again seen. The revealed animation announced at Comic-Con has received a great response from the fans. With a modern and slick touch in the animation and appearance, we truly will be recollecting the sentimentality attached to these evergreen characters. I can get you hope. And give you more time. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. As Phase 5 of the MCU approaches, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will be their very first release. The official release was announced at Comic-Con, and the trailer was released as well. Scott Lang is well recognized after Endgame. Hope and Scott are seen experimenting with a device that sends a specific signal into the quantum world. A portal opens and sucks them all into a different universe, and the adventure through suspense continues to splatter in the trailer. Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly are returning cast members, playing the characters Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne. Kang the Conqueror will be played by Jonathan Majors, and Catherine Newton will be playing young Cassie Lang. Other returning characters are Michelle Pfeiffer as Janet Van Dyne, and Michael Douglas will be playing the character of Hank Pym. We are expecting the movie to be in theaters on July 28th, 2023, however the date is likely to be changed or swapped with MCU's other release, The Marvels. One of the other cast actors is Bill Murray, but we don't know much about his character yet yet. The CGI work while displaying different quantum dimensions is again extremely well portrayed. There could be a potential conflict with Scott's daughter, Cassie. Kang's presence is expected to create chaos that is likely to continue beyond the film. The appearance of the Lang and Van Dyne families in a new universe is likely to bring in more villains, and fans are going all gaga while waiting. We are looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. I just said that, Drax. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Directed by James Gunn, Volume 3 of Guardians of the Galaxy has been officially announced at the San Diego Comic-Con in 2022. With a release date of May 5th, 2023, this movie is no longer a part of Phase 4, but Phase 5. Chris Pratt is obviously returning to play Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, along with Zoe Saldana, who plays
plays Gamora. I know what you're thinking, Gamora is no more. But this is a different timeline where her universe as Thanos got her to MCU's main universe, and she has not yet met Star-Lord. Karen Gillian plays Nebula, as she previously did in Avengers Infinity War. Bradley Cooper will be voicing our all-time favorite Roden warrior, Rocket, and Vin Diesel will be voicing Groot. Dave Bautista will be returning as Drax alongside Palm Clementif, who played Mantis. While Peter Quill will be dealing with mixed feelings with Gamora back, we are excited to see how things may take a turn. Saldana has conveyed that her wish is to see an evil side of Gamora, so we will be witnessing something vaguely different in Gamora's character. The trailer shown in Comic-Con confirmed that the character is now part of the Ravagers. As Marvel tends to release trailers about four months before the release, we just have to wait till January 2023 to be able to take a peek at more details. Blue Beetle Jaime Reyes, also known as the final Blue Beetle, is one of the DC Universe's best superheroes. With a theatrical release date on August 18th, 2023, Warner Bros. is finally giving the character his own movie. Though you are probably familiar with the character, we will give you a brief on the plotline. When a young teenage boy is introduced to a heroic beetle-like blue armor, he discovers the ability of the beetle that sometimes takes control of him. Zolo Meriduena will be cast as the character of Jaime Reyes. Harvey Guelan will also make an appearance, though his character is still in the shadows. Carapax, a classic enemy of Blue Beetle, will be played by the actor Raul Max Truillo. We are likely to see some conflict with the main antagonist, Victoria Cord, that will be played by Susan Sarandon. We are hoping that this movie would be an origin story and the following events after discovering the Metal Scarab. Though the Scarab has previously been held by others, a teenage perspective will be characterized for the first time. We are expecting a lot of unexplored visuals around the newly found suit armor and the powers of Jaime Reyes. The Flash. Produced by Warner Bros. Pictures and DC Studios among others, The Flash is one of the most popular DC characters. This movie is directed by Andy Muschietti and casts Ezra Miller, who plays Barry Allen, aka The Flash. The movie is inspired by the comic book Flashpoint. After many production delays, it's finally reported to be releasing on June 23rd, 2023, with the sequel already in production. What do we know about the storyline so far? Barry somehow shuffles the timeline, resulting in the appearance of Michael Keaton's Batman. He also uses his superpower, Super Speed, to travel into the past in order to put a stop to his mother's murder. But upon returning, everything in the present is changed as if the past had been tampered with. Barry also meets Supergirl in the alternate time zone, but it is unclear if she too is from the main universe like him. The character is played by Sasha Cal. What other chaotic destruction and superhero action will be taking place? It's only a matter of time before we find out. The multiverse factor, though confusing at first will surely be worth the patience. In the movie, Flash's new sleek and gleaming costume is already gathering up all the hype from the fans. Being one of the most exciting characters in the DCEU, we are expecting some special cameos from this film. The Marvels Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is embracing the release of the Marvels. Carol Danvers' venture to become the most powerful superhero was seen in Captain Marvel's movie, which was released back in 2019. Monica Rambeau has gained superpowers as her cells were rewritten when she went through the hex barrier multiple times. If you don't remember Monica, she was the daughter of Carol's best friend, Maria Rambeau. Monica has looked up to Carol since her childhood. In the film, Brie Larson, our fan favorite Captain Marvel, is a return cast member. Tayona Paris and Iman Vellani are playing Captain Monica and Miss Marvel respectively. Samuel L. Jackson plays Nick Fury and Yon Rog plays the role of the Star Force leader. The lead villain will be played by Zawe Ashton, but the character is still in the shadow. As this movie is likely to represent the timeline after WandaVision and Miss Marvel, fans are expecting a secretive mission followed by ruthless action linked with the legendary Nick Fury. Nick has helped Carol to explore her past by being close to her. In this movie, Kamala and Captain Marvel are more likely to be linked. Captain Marvel's suit will be new and likely to have elements that represent the connection with Kamala. Although Brie Larson did face backlash from some Marvel fans at the beginning, she gained a massive fan base in no time. Viewers are eager to witness some action-packed body swapping between Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel in the coming year. It will be tentatively available in theaters on July 28th, 2023.
Gotham Knights. The CW-verse, or Arrowverse, is stretching its horizons with the release of the new crime action drama Gotham Knights. CW, popularly known as a collaboration between CBS Group and Warner Bros, greenlit the project earlier this year and they are moving forward with the production after the pilot episode. The storyline will take place in Gotham after the death of Bruce Wayne and Wayne's adopted son, Turner Hayes, is wrongfully framed for his father's death. With District Attorney Harvey Dent hot on his trail, Hayes must turn to a raggedy group of individuals to form an alliance and find the truth about his father's death. Meanwhile, Batman's absence provokes the Gotham villains to engage in their criminal livelihood. The newly formed alliance must do whatever it takes to keep their city safe. The casting has already been announced by CW, and it names stars like Misha Collins as Two-Face and Navia Robinson as Carrie Kelly, Batman's sidekick. This show will also star Olivia Rose Keegan of Days of Our Lives fame, who will be playing the role of Dula, an infamous criminal born in the pits of Arkham Asylum. Taking the spotlight will be Oscar Morgan as Turner Hayes, Bruce's adopted son. We know what you're thinking, is it going to be the same as the recently released Gotham Knights video game? Maybe, to some extent. There might be some similarities between the plot lines, but the two are not connected. Based on the comics by Bob Kane and Bill Finger, the live action series is supposed to hit the TV screen in October 2023. Echo. After the successful premiere of Marvel's Hawkeye on Disney+, Plus, we are introduced to the character of Echo. It is about a newcomer vigilante in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. A spin-off solo series has been announced by Marvel Studios, focusing on Echo and her adventures as a vigilante during the Disney Plus celebration in 2021. Alakwa Cox will be reprising her role as the protagonist, Maya Lopez, and her notable alias, Echo, in the upcoming spin-off series. The series will be a chronological follow-up to Marvel's Hawkeye as she leaves her dark bass behind her and starts a new journey. The show will also cast Zahin McLaren as William Lopez, Maya's father. With the dilemma of William having been killed by Clint Barton's rogue avatar Ronin between the events of Infinity War and Endgame, as Hawkeye confirmed, it will be interesting to watch what the series holds for this portrayal of Echo's origin story. Although there has been no official mention of Charlie Cox's Daredevil or Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, fans are speculating that they might pop up during the series, which does doesn't seem impossible, assuming Marvel has kept everything under wraps. No official dates have been revealed, but the anti-hero spin-off is expected to release sometime in 2023. Fascinating. What if? Season 2. The first season of Marvel's What If unchained the shackles of the multiverse and all that we knew about it. It's the first ever animated installment by Marvel Studios which was released in 2021 and garnered a terrific response from the viewers. Created by A.C. Bradley, the animated series is notoriously known for exploring alternate timelines within the MCU and sheds a different light on major incidents that occurred in the MCU. Like what if Peggy Carter became the first Avenger, Captain America, instead of Steve Rogers? Or what would happen if Ultron and his army won their battle? Considering the limitless scenarios, Marvel Studios has renewed the series for the next two seasons. Unveiled during San Diego Comic-Con, the trailer explores more strange worlds such as Steve Rogers trading places with Bucky and being a Hydra agent, or Peter Quill reuniting with his father Ego and raising a new what-if situation. Jeffrey Wright will reprise his role as the Celestial Watcher, the narrator of the show, and previous voice actors will reprise their roles, including Josh Keaton as Steve Rogers, Sebastian Stan as Bucky, and Haley Atwell as Peggy Carter. The tricky series provokes the viewer to rethink their beliefs about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. A specific release date is yet to be revealed by Marvel for the second season of the show, but it is expected to be released in early 2023 on the Disney Plus platform. Legion Academy. If you want it, you could train here. Think of them as the future's Justice League. Legion of Superheroes. The new trailer for the upcoming DC animated movie Legion of Superheroes just dropped and Legion fans are finding it difficult to contain themselves. This is the first DC animated movie set in Tomorrowverse to bring Jensen Ackles' Batman and Darren Criss' Superman together, bringing them a step closer to assembling the Justice League. The storyline revolves around Kara, the Supergirl trying to get used to the planet Earth after the destruction of Krypton. She leaves her space-time and heads into the 31st century to attend the League 
Legion Academy, on the advice of her cousin Superman. She finds new superhero companions throughout her journey while also making a brand new enemy, Brainiac 5. The plot thickens when she somehow gets entangled with a strange group known as the Dark Circle, who are searching for a mysterious weapon located within the vaults of the Academy. The movie will mark the first solo venture of the Legion members since their animated series which aired from 2006 to 2008. It features a star-studded cast including Meg Donnelly as Kara, or Supergirl, and Harry Shum Jr., who will be playing the role of Brainiac 5. Matt Bomer will also be reprising his role as The Flash from the previous animated Justice League movies. Announced by Warner Brothers Entertainment, the movie is all set to release on February 7th, 2023. I told you, you're wasting your time talking to her. Ironheart. In Black Panther Wakanda Forever, we caught the first ever glance of Ironheart in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Dominique Thorne plays the character of Riri Williams, a brilliant teenager and inventor who somehow gets tangled in the battle between the Wakandans and the underwater creatures because of her invention of a machine that can locate vibranium from the roots of the earth. Inspired by Tony Stark, the teenager steps into an armored suit she built herself to fight alongside the Wakandans. Marvel's new upcoming live-action project, Ironheart, will feature Dominique Thorne reprising her role as Riri Williams or her superhero alias, Ironheart. The live-action project will be directed by Sam Bailey and Angela Barnes and will be partly produced by Proximity, a Ryan Coogler production company. The show will also mark the MC debut of a notorious supervillain, The Hood, or Parker Robbins, played by Anthony Ramos, who confirmed it in an Instagram post. Not a lot has been revealed about the series yet, but the sequel will trail Riri's journey after the battle in Wakanda Forever. Ironheart the series is awaiting its premiere on the streaming platform Disney Plus around the latter half of 2023. We gotta be very careful now. Secret Invasion Secret Invasion is Marvel's answer for Nick Fury's absence from the MCU. The trailer for this film surely got all fans excited. The military hero and super spy will get his deserving moment of glory in Marvel's upcoming live-action series, Secret Invasion. A lot of details have not been specified about the plot, but pulling the strings together from the trailer and the various post credit scenes, we can tell a rogue group of shape-shifting Skrulls has infiltrated the Earth, and Nick Fury must team up with his allies to stop them. Samuel L. Jackson will be replaying the character Nick Fury, and Kobe Smulders will be returning as Agent Maria Hill, Nick Fury's sidekick. The series will also feature the recurring cast of Don Cheadle as Colonel James Rhodes, and we should be expecting Martin Freeman to return as Everett K. Ross, the CIA agent. And that's not all, Amelia Clark, who is known to be the mother of dragons herself, is set to make an appearance as Abigail Brand. The intense nature of the trailer appears to be highlighting the dark and shadowy part of the MCU, and you can expect some extraordinary action packed into this spy thriller series. An official release date has not been set for the series, but it is anticipated around the first half of 2023. It's my last night before school starts. Spider-Man Freshman Year There's a lot of buzz going around with Marvel's new upcoming project, Spider-Man Freshman Year. Whether the upcoming animated project is in jeopardy due to budget cuts at Marvel Studios or not, nothing has been officially disclosed yet. The show was revealed during the San Diego Comic-Con panel earlier this year and will act as a prequel to the present-day MCU Spider-Man. Now, whether the animated series will run parallel to the Spider-Man franchise or they will share a similar universe, it will be exciting to see. Developed by head writer Jeff Jeff Trammell, the upcoming animated series will trace a young Peter Parker's journey through his early days, before his appearance in Civil War. The show will also feature some of the Web Slinger's early villains such as Chameleon, Scorpion, Rhino, Speed Demon, and Tarantula. The show should resolve all the burning questions we had about the origin of the MCU Spider-Man, just in case we had any for the millionth time that we've seen it. As for now, Charlie Cox is confirmed to make his appearance as Daredevil, fighting alongside our hero but nothing has been officially confirmed yet for the role of Peter Parker. From what we can tell, we will be seeing a good deal of Peter Parker's everyday adventures juggling his civilian and superhero identities. The series is set to release to Disney Plus and is expected sometime in 2023. A sequel for the series, Spider-Man Sophomore Year, has also been announced.
Marvel Zombies. The Marvel Cinematic Universe took a bold step forward with its first ever animated series, What If, back in 2021, which was met with a positive response from the fans. The What If saga explores a fictitious reimagination of notable events that occurred in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, creating an endless multiverse of countless possibilities. Revealed during San Diego Comic-Con earlier this year, Marvel Zombies is an upcoming spin-off series based on the What If Zombies episode of the Illusion what if universe. The episode featured a quantum virus pandemic that has infected and turned our MCU heroes into zombies. Taking place in an apocalyptic setting, the surviving heroes must find a cure. The series will showcase the zombie versions of Captain America, Captain Marvel, Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, and Bucky as they face off against the surviving heroes Shang-Chi, Kate Bishop, Yelena Belova, Kamala Khan, and more. The finale of the What If Zombies episode left fans stupefied after a zombified version of Thanos appeared floating his almost complete Infinity Gauntlet. The spin-off series is highly anticipated by MCU fans and is expected to release sometime in 2023. With the suspense factor along with more surprising elements, expect more classic superhero action in an attempt to save the world. The name's Agatha Harkness. Lovely to finally meet you, dear. Agatha, Coven of Chaos. In case you haven't seen the MCU's highly rated WandaVision, we don't want to spoil it for you, but it was Agatha Harkness, the nefarious witch who was manipulating Wanda Maximoff all along. The sorceress supervillain is all set to get her own spin-off storyline in Agatha, Coven of Chaos, which will mark Marvel's installment series number 8 under Phase 5. WandaVision created a striking new beginning for the Marvel Cinematic Universe on its Disney Plus platform. What appeared as a falsely constructed reality created by Wanda to cope with Vision's death, we discovered that she acted upon the unwavering wicked spells of Agatha, the witch who was trying to steal her powers. The last that we see of her, she lost to Wanda, and eventually ended up being trapped in her sham persona of Agnes, the nosy neighbor. Catherine Hahn will be reprising her role as Agatha Harkness, and we have no complaints. Whether it's a a prequel to WandaVision where we explore the hundreds of years of Agatha's existence, or a sequel, how she breaks herself out of the magical spell that left her trapped in a false reality, nothing has been officially revealed yet. Actor Katherine Hahn has confirmed everything is being kept under the curtains. The live-action Marvel series is set to release on its Disney Plus platform during the latter half of 2023, and we as Marvel fans cannot wait to see what happens. I have called your mother. My Adventures with Superman My Adventures with Superman is an upcoming animated series developed in collaboration with HBO Max and Cartoon Network, which explores the life of a young Clark Kent. The animated series will showcase the journey of Clark Kent and Lois Lane in their early 20s as they discover themselves in the hustle of Metropolis and take us along in their journey of Superman and Lois Lane. The Coming of Age series will show us Clark Kent embracing his identity as Superman, the savior of Metropolis and Lois's journey as a star reporter and a mentor to Jimmy Olsen, their best friend. New still images were unveiled during the DC Fandom event which featured the leads of the series, namely Clark Kent, Lois Lane, and Jimmy Olsen. The character of Clark Kent will be voiced by Jack Quaid, and Lois Lane will be voiced by Alice Lee. However, the casting for Jimmy Olsen has not yet been announced officially. Still in development, producer Josie Campbell has affirmed that the animated series has been authorized for production for its first two seasons, and is awaiting its premiere in mid-2023. The youth of Superman can be cherished once again on the screen. The revealed still photos have also been indicating a comic book-like animation that will be adding to the nostalgic entertainment factor. Fans are eagerly awaiting this release to enjoy this unexplored side of Kent and Lane. Check this out. Files detail how superheroes are born. They're made with this. Gen V. With the divisive finale of The Boys Season 3, the franchise is set to receive another spin-off series. Gen V, or should we say, Soups in College. With a lot of questions coming into your mind right now, let us address the most basic one. No, it's not a sequel to The Boys Season 3. The plotline of Gen V will be contained in a similar universe as that of The Boys and will run parallel to the series. Based on the plot of The Boys comic We Gotta Go Now, the upcoming series will imitate the premise of X-Men and portray a college for soups jacked up on Compound V. It references the Hunger Games as well, where the soups are tested for their ability for fighting crime at Godolkin University, America's only college for soups, 
A venture of Vaught International. Created by Michelle Fazikas and Tara Butters, the spin-off series will feature Jazz Sinclair from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina the Teenage Witch as Marie Moreau and Lizzie Broadway from American Pie Girls Rule as Emma Shaw. The upcoming series will also star Shelley Kahn, Patrick Thomas, Asa German, and London Thor. As we all know, the boys are not afraid to show a little violence and you can imagine the blood and mayhem the R-rated show will feature. Gen V is set to air in 2023 prior to the release of The Boys Season 4, but official dates have not yet been announced. Justice League x Ruby The 2021 crossover that happened between Ruby and the Justice League left comic culture in awe. For the uninitiated, Ruby is an American animated series with its first episode airing in 2013. It tells the story of four strong girls and their epic struggle to become huntresses in order to fight and defeat the evil creatures called Grimm. The name of the adventure fiction is an acronym for the four protagonists namely Ruby, Weiss, Blake, and Yang. Created by Marguerite Bennett, the crossover comic book shows their universe clashing with our DC heroes, and the two forces must join hands to defeat the new diabolical Grimm. The seven-issue comic was received well by the fans. And that's not all. A spin-off movie has just been announced during a convention hosted by Rooster Teeth. It will be the first movie set to take place in the Ruby universe, and it's an expansion of the original comic book story. The two separate worlds will collide once again during this new crossover between Ruby and our Justice League heroes all throughout this action-packed animated fantasy. The movie is presently being developed under Rooster Teeth, Warner Bros. Animation, and DC Comics, and is set to release in 2023. Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur will follow the adventures of Lunella Lafayette or Moon Girl and her sidekick, a T-Rex dinosaur, as they battle the crimes of New York City. The animated series will feature Lunella, an exceedingly intelligent 13-year-old who accidentally opens a time portal and summons a T-Rex dinosaur into present-day New York City. Proclaiming the superhero identity of Moon Girl, the unlikely duo must team up and protect the city of New York against its reckless criminals. Diamond White, a noted singer and actress, will be featuring Moon Girl's voice, and Frederick Owen, who is voicing Moon Girl's sidekick Devil Dinosaur, is popularly known for voicing Megatron in the Transformers, the video game franchise. Based on the best-selling Marvel-published comic Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, the animated series is all set to premiere on the Disney Channel in February 2023 and will be shortly available on Disney Plus after its release. Finally, if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. This has been Corey Whelan for Marvelous Videos. Have a good one, stay safe out there, and thanks for watching.